because the kind of variety of treatments I enumerated for you these are all scientific treatment but these Bengali Baba treatment is not it's rather prohibited by drugs and magical treatments Magical Remedies Act of 1954 which mainly depend on Mantra, Tantra, Babu, Tabij and they have remedy for everything you are failing in love take this Tabij your love will start flourishing you are being troubled by your wife take this babut your wife will suddenly become angel I don't know I have still to get that babut <laughs> but these are prohibited under drugs and magical treatments prohibition act of 1954 <coughs> So what we have also to understand is that apart from these vital and important statutes, there are certain things which Indian Medical Council Act of 1956 makes it mandatory for every doctor to be registered. So now when you go to a doctor's clinic or a hospital, you can seek his registration number whether you are a registered doctor or not like a lawyer cannot practice without being registered in the Bar Council of India similarly a doctor cannot practice within unless he is registered in the Indian Medical Council IMC 1956 and like Bar Council of India has made certain rules IMC has also framed rules called Indian Medical Council Professional Conduct Etiquettes and Ethics Regulation 2002 Indian Medical Council Professional Conduct Etiquettes and Ethics Regulation 2002 where certain things are prohibited You have to follow certain ethics if you are a professional doctor. You cannot behave like an unscrupulous Bengali Baba. You have to behave like a doctor. So those etiquettes and ethics are prescribed under those regulations. And under 6, regulation 6.1, advertising is prohibited. No doctor can advertise. Have you ever come across a doctor advertising? No, because it is prohibited. Euthanasia is prohibited under regulation 6.7 of 2002 regulation if somebody is terminally ill and doctor decides that there is no chance of any recovery he is almost brain dead or he is in coma but he can't kill euthanasia is prohibited under 6.7 regulation Adultery is prohibited under 7.4. Regulation 7.4 prohibits adultery because a lady approaches a male doctor. She is in a vulnerable state. The doctor should not take advantage. Sexual assault is prohibited under regulation 6.6, 7.6. All these things are prescribed in these regulations. There are statutory provisions. So the medical science is quite regulated one and as a lawyer you must know all this. Then there is confidentiality, a very vital and important part of medical science that a, a doctor dealing with a patient must keep the patient's problem confidential. 
have any of you reached up to Indian Evidence Act? So if you have read Indian Evidence Act, it talks about privileged communications. You have heard this privileged communications? Section 122 talks about the privileged communication between husband and wife. 123 and 24 talks about the privileged communication of the official secrets act cannot be revealed. 126, 27, privileged communication between a lawyer and a client. Even the court cannot force the lawyer to reveal the details of the client. These are called absolute privileged communication and there is relative privileged communication. So doctor is under confidentiality clause not to disclose the disease of the patient publicly except to the patient or to his or her relatives. Otherwise the doctor is mandated to maintain confidentiality. If he breaches it, he will land in your office because the person can sue. And interesting cases like such happens. They keep happening because the doctor slipped and the disaster happened. And sometimes even the doctors are under a very, very difficult situation whether to reveal or not to reveal. I handled one such case, represented a doctor who was sued by a victim. It so happened, I'll never name my clients, but I'll just tell you how peculiar cases can happen as a lawyer before you. A marriage happened between a person and a lady. Immediately after the marriage, the man realized that the lady behaves very diff different or peculiar. She is not normal. So he took her to our client, this doctor, who was a psychiatrist. Psychiatrist was shown and he interviewed the lady and found out that the lady is behaving so peculiar and disturbed because immediately before the marriage she had an affair and this marriage was against her wish. So she was not happy. Now this diagnosis is there. Treatment is also begun. The problem was faced by the doctor, one side the confidentiality clauses prohibits him to reveal. The other side he is obliged to the husband who has brought his wife for the treatment. The problem kya isko? Wo kya bole? Aapko nahi bata sakte. Kare? Meri wife आपकी पे मैं ही लाया आप बोल रहे आपको नहीं बता नहीं आपको नहीं बता सकते such kind of problems occur to the professionals because the doctor is under obligation to keep treating and if he doesn't tell to the husband the husband will not bring the wife again so the treatment will be hampered and if he reveals he breaches the confidentiality clause. So finally for the welfare of the patient, he revealed to the husband that, see, she is in the disturbed state, she needs a regular medication. And lo and behold, the husband got so hurt, he went and filed a suit for divorce. Now the moment the divorce summons were served to the lady, he sued the doctor. How dare you reveal all this to my husband? And Dr. Saab landed in Chaturvedi Saab's office. Saab, bachao. So these are 
peculiar cases. The doctors are under obligation of a confidentiality, but there are certain situations that we won the case only on this ground that these confidentialities are not absolute but relative. You have to reveal it to the relatives. Sometimes the patient herself or himself is not in a position to take a decision whether to, to go on with the treatment or not to. One landmark judgment of the Supreme Court of India, Samira Kohli versus Dr. Prabha Manchanda, a landmark judgment, 2008 Supreme Court. A lady was admitted in a hospital for a surgery. She had some gynec problem. And normally the doctors obtain the consent before surgery. So consent form was signed by Samira Kohli, who was the patient. While the surgery being conducted, the doctor realized that it is required for the welfare and health of the lady that the uterus has to be removed. If it is not removed, her life will be in danger because the infection will spread. So the doctor from the operation theater came out informed and asked for the consent from the relatives because the patient is unconscious on the operation table. 